You see this? This is what marketing has turned into. People think that marketing is some overwhelming, sophisticated, complex thing, when in reality, it's something that's very simple and something that you can implement into your business to be able to make money online and grow a successful business. My name is Benson Sung, and today I'm gonna to teach you the foundations of successful marketing that generates millions of dollars. tired of all the BS that all the internet marketers and gurus are selling you. I'm going to give you the clarity that you need to implement this. The first foundation of being able to grow a business online and create a marketing campaign that's successful is being able to understand your ideal audience persona. What is the ideal audience persona? Essentially, it's understanding who you're going after, who is the target audience and being able to determine five to six different categories that I'm about to teach you right now to determine the very simple things that you should target. The first thing is understanding the emotional triggers. What are the emotions that you want your target audience to respond with when they see your business or your brand? The second thing is what are the values that you want them to have? What's important to your target audience and how can you demonstrate that with your business? The third thing is what is the goals, what are the outcomes and what are the results that your target audience is looking for when they go to your business? When you understand these three things, you'll be able to focus and really hone in on your marketing and also on growing your business because this is the foundation. How should they feel? People always remember that. People always go for feelings and they justify with logic. Lead with emotions, lead with feelings, and then, they, and then use logic to be able to sell your product or service. Category is understanding where is their current focus slash attention. Where are they putting their time and where are they putting their mental focus? Look at the books. Where are the books that you, they're reading? What kind of books would they read? What are the conferences they, they, they attend? What are the websites that they're already spending their time on? What are the events that they go to? What types of hobbies do they have? What types of passions and things do they focus on in their day-to-day -day life? What are the things that they really, really do? You want to really understand and hone in on what are the attention and where are the focus that they put in during the day-to-day -day life. When you understand this, you're able to target them specifically on Facebook, you're targeting them with your content on your website, you're targeting them on Google, with your videos, with any type of marketing and any type of thing that you use to implement to grow your business. So understanding these things is very important. The conferences, the, the books that they read, the TV shows that they watch, the uh, um, where they, uh, what hobbies, what passions, what do they do during the day-to-day -day life? What are the stuff that they use? That Understanding that is the next step. The third core thing you really want to understand is what are the pain points and what are the struggles and challenges that you are, the people that you're going for are experiencing. People do things for two reasons. The first thing is they go through the process of moving towards happiness, something good, something that they want to experience, some joy, something that's good for their life. The second thing is they move away from pain, struggle, challenges. So you want to identify what is happiness to them? What is the result that they're going for? What's the outcome? And then the next thing is, what is the pain that they're moving from? What are they struggling with? What are the challenges? If you understand these two things, then everything that you do will be much easier with your communication with them and your marketing and growing your business. You want to identify is what is their options that they have to be able to buy or achieve the results or the outcome that they're going for or avoid the pain, the struggle, or the challenge. What are the options that are out in the marketplace? Basically, who are your competitors? Who are the people that they're buying from already? And also, what are the different alternatives that they can use to achieve the result? Let's say, for example, someone wants to lose weight. That's their pain point. You know, they're overweight or they're struggling with their weight or they might have a medical condition that struggles with their weight and they want to lose weight. They want to look better. They want to feel better about themselves. They want to move from the pain of being overweight to becoming healthier. They want to have a healthy lifestyle too. Now, for those types of people, what they want to focus on is they could be going into a gym membership is one solution. Getting a gym membership, another solution could be trying an exercise program at home. There's so many different solutions and options for your, that specific moving away from the problem and moving towards the result that you want to narrow down and hone in on those things and then really dive deeper into it. So that's the core thing. The next thing is what are their objections? What are the things that they would object to when they are potentially looking to buy your product or service? There could be things like, oh, you know, there's too expensive or it's too cheap. Or it could be time, oh, I don't have the time to look at this product. I don't have the time to use it. 
or it could be complexity. I, they're overwhelmed with so much information and knowledge. How can you simplify it for them? Another thing could be you want to identify things that are struggling, that, that their challenges are before they add move forward with buying your product or service. You, there's so many different things, but usually I can give you four right now. Time, belief in themselves to be able to use your product or service, belief in your product or service overall, and then also the money. These are four very common objections for any product or service out there. The fifth and final thing, once you identify all these four different categories that we covered, you want to narrow down on what is their age? You know, very specific things. What are the age? Are they married? Do they have kids? Where do they go to school? What kind of education? What's their income level? What's their, do they own a house? Do they not own a house? You want to build almost multiple different types of people and being able to understand and really hone in on what that looks like. You want to look at things like, are they occupied? Where do they work? Uh, what are the, the criteria and different things that you want to come up with? You hone in on that, then you combine these, you have what I call the ideal audience persona. Finally, one of the things to put this all together, and I'm going to give you a secret tip that I used, is to focus on interviewing your 10 best customers or clients on the categories that we just said. Find out and interview them and ask them questions on what motivates them, what are the results they're looking for, what are the emotional triggers. What are the challenges that they're experiencing? Where do they spend their time? Now, if you're saying, hey, I'm just starting out, I don't have uh, customers or clients, even better. Focusing on interviewing your 10 best uh, competitors, customers and clients. You can go on sites like Amazon, you can go on sites like review sites like Trustpilot. There's so many different review sites for your product or service that you're selling that you can just reach out, even Google reviews, and just say, hey, John or Julie, I wanna just interview, I wanna understand more about you because I'm personally trying to create a product or service or I have a product or service out there and I wanna understand more about you and I wanna maybe give you a free sample or a free product so I can really help you add more value to you to help you solve your problem or help you achieve this result. So that's really a way to be able to do it, either your competitors or either your own best uh, clients and customers. And then just interview, gather that data. It'll make this process so much easier and what you'll learn and the insights that you'll gain will be priceless. Now the next thing to put this all together is the goal of this is once you understand all this, you wanna communicate with your target audience. That's all marketing is, is communicating with your target audience, getting their attention and communicating, having them understand, have awareness about your business and brand and buying from you ultimately. Now you learn the foundations of a successful business online and even marketing campaigns. So what you wanna do now is I want you to do three things. You can leave a comment below, click like on this video and subscribe to the channel right here. Now on the comment, I want you to say just yes if you're super excited that you know the foundations of a successful business online. Just say yes in the comments below. And another thing too is that I personally, I'm just doing this, the reason why I'm doing this is to give back to the entrepreneurial community, to give back to you. I wanna add value to you, I wanna share with you, I wanna teach you. I don't make any money from this, I just wanna build a community of people like us so we can focus on really just growing together, adding value, and be able to share our experiences and take our businesses to the next level. Whether you're a startup or an established business, let's connect together, let's build this community and take it to the next level. So thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video.